I first played Halo Combat Evolved upon its release over 10 years ago, and I was blown away. The monumental impact it made on the video game industry virtually guaranteed it a succession of sequels. Halo 2, Halo 3, ODST, Reach, Halo Wars, Combat Evolved Anniversary, and of course, the eagerly awaited Halo 4, which is the first part of the Reclaimer trilogy. We'll have to wait until Microsoft releases its next-gen console for Halo 5 and 6. And it doesn't stop there. Microsoft has recently acquired the domain names for Halo 7, Halo 8 and Halo 9. It seems as though Halo's long-term future is guaranteed, but is this a good thing? It's been rumoured that the Reclaimer trilogy will be the last series of Halo games to feature the Chief and Cortana. So where exactly will this leave Halo 7, 8 and 9? Well, the Halo universe has an extremely rich mythology which is ripe for exploration, so it's conceivable that the franchise can continue to expand without the Chief. Whether or not these games will have the same impact as Combat Evolved remains to be seen, but it's heartening news for Halo fans. Personally, I think it's pretty cool that I'll be able to grow old with Halo. But maybe we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. What do you guys think? Should the franchise die with the Chief? Or is the Halo universe strong enough to keep going? Leave a comment and let me know. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more Halo 4 videos.